The third and final week of the preseason is here. A fourth exhibition game is a thing of the past. It's the Cards and the Vikings, next on Madden Football. A very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. Today, the third and final week of preseason action, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you, and now we sit, CD, at week three of the preseason, and this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable, right? Certainly. This is the dress rehearsal. This is the one. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. You know, last week I remember asking you what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week two of the preseason. Now we're in week three. Defensive coordinator-wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You're looking for guys that play with abandon, that just go out and make plays. You kind of let their athletic ability take over in order for you to notice them. Completes this to Addison, out left. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. They'll run for the first time with Kareem Hunt. And a stiff arm made it a pretty little run. Not a huge gain, but a nice chunk of yardage. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Next to receivers, they'll spread the defense out. They were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Off the play fake. Dunlap. That is caught. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 41-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 41. Rolling to his left. He lets one go deep for Addison. And incomplete on the deep ball. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Second and ten. Hunt will try going up the middle. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 14. That third down conversion, good for 23. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially. 
Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Handoff up the middle. Hunt. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace it. From the nine, second and five. Back to throw. Dunlap. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. Only able to gain a couple there. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. These offensive starters still out there in the second quarter. You would think the... The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. Start with Hunt on the ground. Oh, and now some space to play. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Now a play fake here on first down. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Off play action. Dunlap. Flush to his right. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. All in all, no gain on the play. And it'll bring up third. Brandon, I think he's just grateful to get back to the line of scrimmage and avoid not just losing yardage, but a big hit on that play as well. That defense closed on him quick and forced a quick surrender out of bounds. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. Looking to throw. Dunlap. Throw to the right. Hold in by Addison. And he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. This duo locked in. 14 yards there. And a first down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's got this to Jefferson. A kicker fest so far. All points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Hunt. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful for the yard out. And the Vikings will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. 
That could be an important swing right there. Touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. Throwing to start the drive. Dunlap. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let it just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. A final shot before break. Dunlap out to his left. Oh, wide open, complete. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one point. Looks like some. Now the Vikings offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter. And Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead. And they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. On first and ten, Dunlap. Out route to Jefferson, and he's got it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another good play as they get 28 out of that one. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and ten as they're down to the 29-yard line. Rolling to his right. Stiff-armed him. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. Muscles him off. And all the way down inside the five. First down. They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. It's second and goal. Back to the eight yard line now. the gun they run it with Hunt and they'll get this from the eight to the five pick up a three two straight shots on the ground now on third do you go to the air I think the possibility exists and if you're doing it you're probably going play action since you ran it twice but I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting. There he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. First down, they'll run with Hunt. He will push his way down to about the 14. On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. 
As we surmise, Charles, most of the starting units still out there for this third quarter. First time this preseason that they played into the second half. And that's by design. Most of the time by this point of the preseason, you want them to go into the half cool down and then come back out and warm up to start the third quarter like you would a regular season game. That's exactly what they wanted to get done. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. On third down, here's Hunt. A beautiful fake. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. Two yards on the pick up there. It was a pretty entertaining ball game. Charles had the lead changes going on in the second half, but I think for the losing side, not able to put any points on the board in the fourth.
So here come the Vikings with a long field ahead of them. And for this young rookie making his first NFL start, a moment he's been waiting for since draft day. So this is where we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. They run with a veteran speedster. It's Kareem Hunt. And he's able to get this on just shy of the 15. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. They'll run again with Hunt. Stopped at the 28. On a play that started at the 14, they pick up 14. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum, and now you're seeing the field really well. Trying to find Jordan Addison that time. And that'll bring up second down. To throw again. Dunlap. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Vita Vea breaking through to get the sack. Oh, you know, that did not feel good. Vita Vea with the sack there. And we know he's a big-time presence on the defensive line, especially against the run. But he'll surprise you with his quickness and his upfield agility in order to get to the quarterback. If you're blocking him, it's going to be a long afternoon or evening, a tough proposition. The Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But, but two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all. All right? A little more expressionism for these guys. I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero? like Jim Otto used to wear, or Kenny Burrow used to wear. Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. 3-0 after one. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Play fake. Dunlap. But the man is Osborne. He's got it. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 of the 6. That one goes for 24 yards. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. They'll look to throw again. Being chased out left. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. It's their quarterback with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Vikings have moved out in front. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk the line with it. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. He capped off that last drive himself, had the touchdown run. And he'll take over here again, first and 10. Let's go. 
to begin the drive. Here's a handoff to Hunt. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. And now they'll stop play here, at least momentarily. A member of the Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Now a nice throw here right side. He holds it in. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Throwing on first down. Dunlap. Eluding the pressure right. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Here we go. Second and nine from the 44. to throw. Dunlap. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 31-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game was his team won the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. Looking to throw. Dunlap. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And he will score. with his second touchdown in his NFL debut. And the Vikings add six to their lead. Nothing like to understand where your escape patches are as a quarterback. He had the touchdown run on the last drive, his second of this first half, as his guys start here with a first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Dunlap. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. On the move to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Here we go, here we go. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Off play action. Dunlap. That's down the field for Jefferson. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And now look at this. Big game and a fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carried around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that. 
Now come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Looking to throw on second down. Dunlap. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run with Hunt. That nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy to try to take. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Back to throw. Dunlap. Open that. He's got Jefferson across the formation. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and one. Off the play fake. Dunlap. And this is caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. And even 30 yards on a play that began back at the 30. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And that could have been the lifeline they needed. This is a play that could have been made. Instead, it's just going to fall incomplete. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A great effort there. There to make the great. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They go play action here on first down. Complete. Jefferson the target. A big play there for Minnesota. 52 yards. And this is seemingly how it's been all game long. This defense has been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Off play action. Dunlap flushed out right. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Off the play fake. Dunlap under pressure and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. Minnesota offense set to take over again. Throwing to start the drive. Dunlap. This is caught. And he doesn't quite make it. Taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 
Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A great play there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Vikings are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Here's second and ten. Throwing again, Dunlap. This one caught, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. Now the Bucks gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he'll get into the end zone, touchdown Minnesota. Kareem Hunt, a 22-yard scamper. And the Vikings are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh, good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you... And now out comes Minnesota. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively. Ready. Off play action. Dunlap sliding out of the pocket. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. The Bucs forced to use their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Now he's got it. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. A nice throw right there, and these fans getting their first look at their QB1 of the future. And I'd imagine it's got to be a big plus for him to get his first start here in front of that home crowd. I know there's a school of thought about getting your first start away from home so you don't have the extra pressure of that crowd behind you, but I say ride the wave. Embrace it. Go ahead and play to that level, and I think it's going to benefit him in the long run. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A great effort there with now three week one touchdowns. And the Vikings tack on another score as they have dominated this fourth quarter. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch, and it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game? We're deep. 
Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, and right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between the